Hey everyone, Ashley here with Authors Unknown. A um, couple quick things. Sun's going down here, so you're going to see shadow and probably horrible lighting. And I'm pretty sure that my neighbor decided to mow his big old lawn. So that's not going to be done for at least an hour, and I have time, no time for that. So I'm going to go ahead and record this anyways, and go ahead and share it with you guys. Um, this was a special order for um, a lady, and um, she was wondering if I could do the Chip Dory, but in junk journal style-ish, um, at least with the papers. Um, so I went ahead and did that. This one's got the three notebooks, two folders, and I did do a laminated dashboard that's typically not in junk journals, but I figured because it's in the um, traveler's notebook style that I would go ahead and do that anyways. You can always pull it out if you don't want it. It's not like it's permanently in there. So this is a, a regular Chip Dory. Um, she said that the lady that this is for um, how did she word this? Absolutely loves um, I can't find my screenshot. Oh, here we are. How did she word it? Um, Mid-century stuff. So I had to Google mid-century and it was more like 50s. So I figured that this paper was perfect for that. I absolutely love it. And um, it's got the ladies on the scooter, the polka dot, the old vintage glasses, and the check there. I, there is a laminated dashboard with this. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you. This was the first notebook. And I just took one of my kits and um, basically used the paper from it. There's ledger and then the old school notebook paper and there's music sheet paper in here. There's it's all the coffee stain paper. It's lined. There's plain. There's old, um, which was really cool because she was saying that she likes to cook and garden and all that stuff. And this is one of those old fifties. I forget what they're called. Um, it's like an embroidery book and um, it has. Uh, recipes in it. This one has got pineapple upside down banana cake, which actually sounds really delicious right now. So anyways, it has these things in it and just old papers, notebook paper, ledger paper, dyed paper. In the middle of the signature, it's got a folded pocket to conceal the stitching, which is right here. There's a pocket there. Um, a couple of these have got an envelope in them. So right now I'm on to the second one. Each one of these is quite thick actually. So just a bunch of junk journal paper. I've never done, I don't think I've done one per se like this. I've done junk journals. I've done gajillions of junk journals. But I don't think I've actually made them in Midori notebook with all the paper. I have used just plain coffee stain paper and done nothing to them. So there is that. I have done that, but that's that's about as far as it's gone. So all kinds of different little bits and pieces in here. And this is the third notebook. And they're sewn signatures. Um, they lay flatter and whatnot. So two folders, laminated dashboard, the sewn signatures, which this turned out absolutely adorable. I did ink the book and the paper lightly with... Um, what did I use? Frayed burlap. It gives it a vintage enough look. And this is going to be a chunky monkey. I absolutely love how this turned out. And so, again, she can use it like a traveler's notebook or like a junk journal. It's the best of both worlds. Uh, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. And I hope you guys are having an awesome weekend. And I'm probably going to be doing more of these. These were fun. It does take a little bit longer. Um, one, because I was inking papers and whatnot. So... Anyhow, I will talk to you guys. Um, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone. Have a great day.